Uh, the day has come. It has finally come. Construction day. I'm gonna tear this whole place apart. No. Um, something special. Come on, let's go. Okay, so after much searching, deliberation, debate, angst, struggle, the whole deal, uh, we finally got a projector to uh, mount up, up there. So what I have done, uh, I have removed that ceiling fan, never liked that thing anyway, and I'm gonna put the projector in its place. All right, now I've got the projector, we're gonna get things, I'm gonna see if I can install this myself. Probably not. This video might be a month in the making. Nonetheless, we're going after it. Come on. Well, not the greatest shot, but a pretty good uh, projector is installed. Studio is looking good. Today, I'm gonna show you uh, what projector I've got. We're gonna go over uh, some of the other components I have here in the studio, but mostly, I want you to take a look at the, uh, the golf projector. Well, the projector we have in the golf studio. Look at this image. It is absolutely fantastic crystal clear, 4K resolution, everything uh, is feeling good in here. Hopefully the golf swing could come around and start acting right now. All right, uh, let me take you around, show you what we got, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so many people have been asking me about the studio, what's going on, we're getting, we're, we're all, we're pretty much done. We've got almost everything uh, in. So I'm gonna show you what we've got here and uh, we'll go from there. This is my uh, impact screen. It's from uh, Pars to Pro. They set me up. It's a retractable screen. You've seen me uh, going up and down with that thing a few times. So it, it retracts down from the ceiling. I mounted it uh, up here and uh, it's 13 feet wide. About nine feet high is what we're looking at. And what's great about this is we've got the, um, the screen. So it, it comes with the sports screen here, okay? It's just a sports screen. Um, your ball will go through that. So you can't hit directly into this. And then we put in uh, on top of it, this impact screen, high impact screen. And it's white because uh, you ultimately wanna get a projector on here and project an image. So that's what that is. I am using a track man. As you have seen uh, down here, okay? So this is the uh, TrackMan software here. I also have um, the V1 Golf software. We'll be doing a lot with that as well in terms of, that's really good for analyzing swings and breaking that down. So we'll, we'll have that to show you. And my PC over here running all the stuff. And that's uh, what my monitor's hooked up for. This is where it, what runs the TrackMan software the v1 golf software all the golf software is going is just dedicated to the studio okay and the projector and all that I do all my editing on a mac so that's that here's the the computer here and we've got um this is coming around these are this is a v1 golf camera we're getting that installed so you can really see some super slow-mo uh, swing capture stuff like that. So that's gonna start coming together. All right, so that brings us to that bad boy right up there. That is the projector that I mounted. Still gotta do maybe a little touch up on the ceiling where I, you know, you know, I installed it. So it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of holes to find a secure location. But that's fine, patch it all up, ran the wire through the roof so it makes it nice and clean. Uh, so let's, Let's take a look at what we got upstairs there. All right, so I am rocking the BenQ LK 
953S T short with a short throw lens projector. This thing has 5,000 lumens. It uh, is a 4K UHD short throw laser projector. It has a like 3 million to 1 dynamic contrast. It has a VGA and HDMI output, so you can daisy chain this together with other units. It has a 1 8 uh, inch audio output as well. So you can hook up external audio such as speakers or some type of soundbar, that type of thing, you know, just about whatever audio you want to attach. You've got that's covered there. Uh, and the laser projector itself will last like a hundred thousand hours without any degradation of quality. And the lens will last approximately about 20,000 hours that laser lens. It has a 4k screen resolution and the projector mount will, has a 360 degree rotation and this ip5x dust guard to keep the dust off of it make it last a lot longer without getting uh clogged up with any debris inside and on the lens after you mount it you have still some uh flexibility in adjustments you can move it in or out that image and you can obviously spot focus it to get it just tack sharp razor focus I think we're pretty good there, you know, play around with it just to make it perfect. It's nice. And I, so what I did in my mounting is I backed it up a bit farther than I needed to. I could have gone a little closer, but because I do a lot of drills and stuff like that, I didn't want the club. I didn't want it to be anywhere near where I was swinging or if I had somebody else in here swinging in club, I didn't want them to hit it because my ceiling height is like nine and a half. Uh, it's almost not quite 10 feet and then it drops down a foot or so with the mount. So it's fine for me and most people and it's in the center. So it's not a big deal, but I didn't want any issues with drills that I do. So I backed it up. So it's totally out of the way. So occasionally, yeah, you'll see my, my shadow down here on the bottom left from time to time, but that's not a big deal because I can move the critical data parameters over. I can, have full flexibility there. So I'd rather you see the shadow of me in the monitor, in the screen here and there, just so you know why that's back that far, but you can mount that up. I have thrown um, TV on there, movies. It looks fantastic. The BenQ 4K laser projector is a rock and roll. And obviously there are a lot of options out there when it comes to projectors for your studio. So it took me a while to figure out which way to go, uh, but I'm glad I did this. I will leave a link in the description below for BenQ. You can find them just about anywhere that you would you know, purchase a, a monitor and I'll leave a link to their website as well. So you can look at um, this there. They have other ones as well. They're not, this one is not cheap. One thing I would recommend highly is that when you're putting together your studio is don't cheap out and get the cheapest one, get the best one that you can afford. It, it, you're, it's gonna be worth it in the long run because you're gonna look at this thing and you don't wanna regret having something not good. And then also you're gonna have to figure out your dimensions first prior to getting the, the projector because you, the last thing you want is to not have enough space or have too much space. Like you want to make sure you got your measurements first before you order your lens and do all your um, me measurements there and make sure everything's spot on. All right. So I hope you like it. I'm super excited. You're going to see a lot of this thing. So stay tuned. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Okay. 171 carry 178. Look two feet right of my target. I can make a two foot 11 inch putt. Thank you, BenQ. I owe it all to you. <laughs>